Hello, people. It is me, Nick. Um, that was a shit intro. But here, um, here's a compilation by The Who, um, released only in Australia and New Zealand, and it's called Best of The Who. So the cool thing about this one is it was released before direct hits. Um, so it was like one of the first compilations of The Who, you know, ever. This was, you know, before songs like Bubba O'Reilly, you know, I Can See For Miles even. So... They only had, you know, two albums and, um, a few, like, a couple of singles, you know? And that's kind of crazy, because, you know, today they're still making music. Uh, but yeah, here's the track listing. Um, as you can see, it has, um, you know, substitute pictures of Lily. Those would still be, you know, put on, um, compilations today. Even stuff like Happy Jack, I'm a Boy, they would be put on compilations today. But most of this would not be really good for Ku compilations today just because they've released so much more music, you know? You know, if they put the, you know, the Batman theme song that they covered on it, people would be like, why would they, why did they put that on it instead of something like Bob O'Reilly or, you know, I can see for miles, who are you? Um, you better you bet, you know? It's cool though. Um, it's, you know, an enjoyable compilation at the very least, and it's cool memorabilia to have. And it was like $20, and The Who was one of my favourite bands. So, yes, um, listen to The Who if you, if you don't listen to them, or I will sacrifice your newborn. No pressure, just, just putting it out there. Uh, peace and love, peace and love, Rongo time, yeah.